There was once a mother who had lost her child. His name was Zack, and he was only four years old when he disappeared into the Pinwell Forest. His mother was distraught and searched for him night and day for 20 years. Her husband left her, claiming that he couldn't live with a woman stuck in the past. He told her that he missed Zack just as much as she did, but they both needed to move on. He'd been missing for over 20 years, and the man was lonely and upset, but the mother didn't pay any attention. She let him go without a word. She continued to stare out the window of her small apartment in Castelia City. Her friend sometimes visited. They sat on the couch and watched her, sharing hushed words every so often. Many times they tried to draw her away from the window, but she would just simply look at them, eyes glazed and far away, and say, No, I'll stay here. Zack will be coming and I don't want to miss him. Worried and defeated, the mother's friends would leave, promising to visit again soon. Then one day, a tiny knock came at the door. The mother rose from her chair and went to answer it, fervently hoping it was her lost son. She opened the door and looked to see a small child. His hair was red, skin was gray, and he had a small, fluffy tail, but he looked like her lost deer, lost Zack. The mother snatched the boy up, crying and scolding and laughing all at once. She had lost the concept of time a long time ago. And the fact that it had taken 20 years for a child to return, he was still very small and didn't make any impact on her joy at seeing him. Her four-year-old son had quote-unquote returned. The mother sat Zack on the couch and told him to wait there while she made him a sandwich. Then she watched him eat and watch cartoons with all the love in the world. The sun sank below the horizon and the mother put Zack to bed, kissing him on the top of his head and telling him the sweetest dreams. She turned out the light and went to her own bed for the first time in 20 years. She slept soundly and woke up in a terrific mood, singing as she made breakfast for her darling child. She went to the dining room with a plate of scrambled eggs in her hands, and Zack was waiting for her with a wide grin on his face. Hello, my dear, she said cheerfully to him, settling down a plate. Look, I made you breakfast. Zack didn't say anything, but simply tilted his head to the side. The grin on his face stretched even wider, and his bushy tail flicked from side to side. Mischief flared in his green eyes. Mother's friends came over later, knocked at the door. When they didn't get an answer, they went to see what was wrong. One of the friends, who was from Nuvima, had brought her young daughter. A new trainer, with two Pokemon in her Pokedex. She had been thinking that maybe her little girl could tell her mother stories of her travels and cheer her up. They searched the entire apartment and found one small fox-like Pokemon with a grey-red tail. It smiled at them mischievously and yipped. Excited to see a new Pokemon, the young girl knelt down in front of it, pulled out her Pokedex out of her backpack, and it buzzed, and an automatic voice began to speak. Zorua. It changes into forms of other people to surprise them. Apparently, it often transforms into a silent child. 